Good morning, Bio 181. Um, I've received a lot of questions about the difference between negative and positive feedback loops. Um, so I thought I'd record a little supplementary lecture um, to help you guys understand it a little bit better. Um, so basically, uh, both of these types of feedback loops um, involve some sort of stimulus. Um, in the case of negative feedback loops, that stimulus is a uh, departure from the set point. Um, in the case of positive feedback loops, there's not really a set point per se, but there's a starting stimulus that sets off the positive feedback loop. Um, now, in a negative feedback loop, you have your departure from the set point, your sensor detects that, it sends a signal to the effectors which trigger a response, which then brings the conditions in the body back to the set point. And so that's, that's the idea, that's what makes it negative. You're diverging from the set point and then the response brings it back to the set point. So you're going in the opposite direction from the stimulus. The contrast is in a positive feedback loop, you have some sort of stimulus, that stimulus triggers a sensor, which triggers the effector, which causes a response that actually increases the direction of the stimulus. So it basically ramps up that response and it becomes much stronger and much more pronounced. So um, instead of returning to the previous condition, it actually amplifies whatever thing is happening. Um, so that's the major difference between a, a negative feedback loop and a positive feedback loop. Let's take a look at some examples um, to kind of help you understand this a little bit better. So for the negative feedback loop, uh, we can look at uh, sugar in the blood, all right? So when you eat food, that's going to increase your blood sugar levels. Um, that's not good for your body. Your body needs to keep relative, needs to maintain homeostasis of that blood sugar, keep a relatively constant blood sugar so that um, it's delivering the right amount of energy to all the cells in your body. So when you eat food, that increases that blood sugar level. Um, there are cells in your pancreas that detect that increase. They then secrete insulin, which is a hormone, um, which triggers the liver to uptake glucose and store it as glycogen. That brings that blood glucose level back down to the normal range and you return to homeostasis. So your blood sugar level goes up when you eat, but then your pancreas uh, reacts to that to bring it back down to a normal level. So it's a negative feedback cycle. Um, negative feedback cycles are much more common in the body than positive feedback cycles. Um, and negative feedback cycles are involved in maintaining homeostasis of any variety of uh, different um, systems in the body, all right? Um, positive feedback, uh, in contrast, uh, an example of that is uh, childbirth. So um, initially, you have an initial stimulus um, it's probably usually going to be, the stimulus is going to be the pressure of a full-grown baby's head against the cervix. Um, the, the cervix then actually will sit, transmit signals to the brain, and the brain, the hypothalamus in particular, is going to stimulate um, the pituitary gland, and then the pituitary gland is going to secrete oxytocin, and then oxytocin is going to go back to the uterus, which is going to stimulate um, contractions of the uterine wall that those contractions will then push the head of the baby harder against the cervix, which sends another signal back to the brain, which then sends more signals down to the pituitary to release more oxytocin, which causes more contractions, which causes more pressure on the cervix, which causes more signal to the brain, which causes more oxytocin, and it goes round and round and round and escalates and escalates and escalates until the baby is born. Once the baby is born, then there's no longer that pressure on the cervix and the cycle stops. Um, so in that case, it's a positive feedback because the signal is actually triggering a response that causes more of the signal, which causes more of a response. So hopefully that cleared things up on the difference between negative and positive feedback. Um, if you have any questions, please hit, them, hit me up in the discussion board and I uh, hope you all are doing well this morning.